when we connect an ac supply to a purely capacitive circuit in that case what is the situation of voltage and current and most importantly what is the situation of power through that circuit in this video we are going to discuss all about that and the video is really really interesting so if you want to get all this detail in the easiest way you need to watch the video in the previous videos we have discussed about uh, resistors we have discussed about inductor now resistor simply opposes the flow of electrons inductor on the other hand opposes the change uh, to the flow of electrons so constant current inductor will allow but it will not allow any change in the current that is happening capacitors behave differently than a resistor and inductor what capacitor does is capacitor opposes the change in voltage and how it opposes by supplying or drawing the current from the circuit so basically a constant voltage if you are passing through a capacitor or giving supply of a constant voltage capacitor is okay but if the supply is alternating in nature then capacitor will not allow that it will try to maintain the voltage at a constant level it will try to control the voltage and how one can control the voltage well again it takes us back to the ohms law now what ohms law says is voltage is directly proportional to the current provided the resistance is constant if resistance is constant then it is pretty much sure that voltage is directly proportional to the current so if you control the current through the circuit you can control the voltage and the same principle is used by capacitor but before we start remember we are talking about purely capacitive circuit now what does a pure capacitor means it means it has a zero inductance or the zero inductive reactance but the resistance is infinite only then we can call a capacitor as pure capacitor and we are discussing everything considering the capacitor is pure so capacitor can control the voltage by controlling the current so whenever we apply an alternating supply to the capacitor and a voltage goes from zero to uh, maximum what capacitor does is capacitor drops the current to zero so that the voltage can be controlled or voltage can be brought back to its original position which was zero right so similarly when voltage drops from maximum to minimum what capacitor does is capacitor pushes more current in the circuit and it takes it to the maximum level so that the capacitor uh, voltage will get back to its previous position which was the maximum right clear understood and that is the reason why you will see in the capacitive circuit whenever voltage is maximum the current is zero and when voltage is zero the current goes to the maximum level right understood now with this we can quickly understand the waveforms of voltage and current in case of capacitive circuit so here you can see the green waveform indicates the voltage waveform and the orange waveform indicates the current waveform so you notice when voltage is maximum the current is zero why zero because capacitor is dropping current so that the voltage can get back to its previous position which was zero similarly in the next position when voltage goes zero current becomes maximum why because capacitor is pushing more current so that the voltage will again stay or it will go back to its ori original position which was maximum right so similarly when voltage reaches is negative peak again the current becomes zero to get back the voltage to its previous position and hence uh, if you notice here when voltage reaches is positive peak current reaches to its positive peak after 90 degrees right and hence in capacitive circuit the voltage and current are 90 degree out of phase with each other so if voltage is reaching to its positive peak at 90 degree the current will reach at 180 degree the gap is 90 degree and hence the voltage and current are out of phase by 90 degree in capacitive circuit we can also say uh, current has a head start in case of capacitive circuit and voltage lags behind the current by 90 degree clear so this is about how voltage and current behaves in capacitive circuit now the interesting part we are going to discuss about the power in case of capacitive circuit 
So if you notice the first portion 0 to 90 degree, both voltage and current are positive. So of course the resultant power will be positive power. That is fine. But when we talk about 90 degree to 180 degree, voltage is positive but the current is negative and hence the resultant power is a negative power because positive multiplied by negative will give us a negative result and hence the power is also negative power. In 180 degree to 270 degree both voltage and current are negative and hence the instantaneous power at this particular portion will be positive. Clear? In the next phase 270 degree to 360 degree the current is positive but voltage is negative and as a result the output power will also be negative. Now again if you notice we have two equal positive peaks and we have two equal negative peaks. So these uh, two equal and two, two positive and two negative peaks will cancel out each other and that means capacitor do not consume any actual power. right? positive powers and negative power are cancelling out each other the resultant power remains zero. Now first let's understand what is this negative power. Negative power means capacitor is delivering uh, power back in the circuit. The positive uh, power indicates capacitor is consuming the power from the circuit and negative power indicates it is supplying power back in the circuit. And such type of power when it goes to the positive peak, negative peak, positive, negative, such type of power is what we call as a reactive power or imaginary power. The same situation which we saw in the previous video wherein we discussed about the inductive circuit. It is exactly the same situation but there is one big difference here. Now if you calculate uh, the power mathematically, let us, let us do that here. So it is we saw P is equals to voltage times current times sine theta. Now the theta that is angle between voltage and current here is negative 90 degree. Why? In the uh, previous inductive video we saw that in inductive circuit voltage leads the current right and hence it is positive 90 degree but in this case voltage lags current by 90 degree and that is the reason why we have to consider negative 90. Always remember that uh, generally students get confused between positive and negative 90. Capacitive circuit it is negative 90 degrees. So if you put that voltage times current times sine 90 degree the resultant is negative 1. The value of sine is sine 90 is negative 1. So the resultant power will be negative voltage times current volt ampere reactive. Again it is a reactive power hence the unit is volt ampere reactive or KVAR kilo volt ampere reactive. Again since it is a negative power we cannot indicate it using letter P we have to use letter Q. P is letter used for active power only and Q is used to indicate reactive power. right? But if you notice here the power the reactive power here is actually a negative power and what does this negative power indicate? It means the capacitive circuit is supplying power back to the circuit and not actually consuming it from the circuit. That is the uh, significance of indicating the power as negative and if you are more interested in, in knowing about uh, reactive power what does this reactive power mean where does this reactive power go in the circuit I have a dedicated videos on that I'll put link for those videos down in the description you can go and check that out and because of this property of capacitive circuit wherein they can supply reactive power to the circuit capacitor banks are specifically installed in the power system to improve the power quality. The purpose of capacitor banks is to supply the necessary reactive power to the circuit. Now let us quickly summarize the video what we have discussed so far. Capacitor opposes the change in voltage by drawing or supplying the current and hence in capacitive circuit when voltage is maximum current is zero and vice versa. In capacitive circuit voltage and current are out of phase by 90 degree. Purely capacitive circuit do not consume real power. Capacitive circuit supplies power back to the circuit which is again exactly opposite than what we have seen in the inductive circuit. Inductive circuit consumes the reactive power and capacitive circuit is supplying power back in the circuit. So I hope you understood something useful today. If the video helped you in understanding the concept, please do like 
the video and do share it with the electrical engineers you know that really helps the channel to grow further and i really really appreciate that and if you don't want to miss any of the updates of such easy to understand video and interesting videos then make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you get notified every time i upload a new video so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning